U.S. stocks are higher this morning as the producer price index basically confirmed what we saw in the consumer price index with that flat month over month number and that less than expected year over year. Obviously, you get a month over month at zero, you're going to get a lower year over year versus last year's level since the CPI index is an index. But PPI, PPI came out much lower than expected, up 9.8%. The last was up 11.3%. We're seeing yields rise in the back end and fall slightly in the front end. So you're seeing a little bit of that yield inversion get taken out. We are still inverted. The twos tens are now 38 basis points versus 45 yesterday. Twos threes were negative 19 yesterday, only negative 10 today. The jobless claims was weaker than expected, but broke the three week streak of falling jobless claims as well. So we saw jobless claims higher than they were last week. So overall, the data is mixed, but that price data holding much more weight with the markets as we see the Russell up 1.65%. The Nasdaq up 1.14, the S&P up 104, and the Dow up just short of 1%. We also have crude oil a little bit higher, up by about 1% as I speak to you, with conflicting views on oil demand. OPEC lowered their demand estimates in their monthly report, and the IEA, the International Energy Agency out of Paris, France, raised their demand estimates so when you look at it from that perspective, the market seems to believe the IEA more than OPEC. Now looking ahead, Mary Daly speaking tonight. Interesting earnings today after the close, even though we're basically done with earnings at this point. Rivian Automotive and Core Scientific reporting today after the close, tomorrow before the open. Pretty quiet in terms of big names, but there could seem be some interest in Spectrum brand holdings. In terms of data, tomorrow a slew of UK data, including preliminary GDP, construction output, the good trades balance, industrial production and manufacturing production. We also get EU industrial production and the preliminary August Michigan consumer sentiment and wait for it, inflation data in the U.S. tomorrow morning.